Yeah. Yep. All right. So let's let's break this down. So you've got a mogul. Okay. That's the one that gets money faster than anybody else. They get an extra five percent income for every business that they get. Yep. You get health regeneration one every three minutes. Mm -hmm. Energy one per five minutes. Okay. Uh, after you do the consigliere tier in New York, you get one per every four and a half. And then once you do the boss in New York, you get your golden throne. You get two energy per every four and a half. Right. So it, the basic thing that you get is 5% more cash than anybody else. So the next thing we've got to talk about is the maniac. Right, which is what I am. Yes, you are. I'm a maniac. She's a maniac, maniac <laughs> Maybe I should look into changing show. that. <laughs> I can't, so I can't help but think of getting that music out of my head. Yeah, fame. I know. I'm, I know. I'm, thanks a lot. <laughs> it's, it's, was that fame? Where the le yeah, the leg warmers and everything. No, <laughs> it was flash dance, wasn't it's it? Flash dance. That's right. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Jane Boss okay. get you on that too. Oh, oh. my goodness, she's going to get us for everything tonight. That'll and Jane, fine. we're not making fun of you. We're, we're loving it. We we need you out there to keep us honest. That's yes, right. We're, we're trying very hard here. Yep. So the next thing we got to talk about is the maniac. You get the same thing as everybody else. I think that your energy comes twice as fast, right? Yeah, your energy is twice as fast. Right. So you get one energy for every three minutes, one for every two and a half from consig, and then two every two and a half minutes after after the Golden Throne. Which is the you. benefit there to getting done with New York, That's right? right. And, and I think any player that starts off now, I mean, I would encourage them, especially now with the three times mastery, to consume New York as fast as they possibly can yep. to get that underneath their belt. Then they can decide from there where else they want to go within the game. Exactly. I would prioritize New York for sure. Yeah. Yep. So the, the, your last one is fearless, and this one regenerates health. To me, it's extremely useless right. because you're going to regenerate health, but if you're a fighter, if you're going to fight, you're going to get wiped out. Yeah. And then you're never going to have time to reheal. So what you're going to do is you're going to go spend money and reheal yourself. So fearless to me, get rid of it. It's not going to help you, or not going to help you. <laughs> it's not going <laughs> to help you. So it really doesn't do too much for you. I would say the most balanced and the one that I picked originally, which I've never changed, I went maniac because I realized that your energy is the thing that's going to help you level up when you're a newbie. So when you first right. jump in, you go maniac. Now, for those who don't know, who haven't been playing the game as, lo as long as us, you weren't able to actually change your character at the beginning. Whatever you picked, you were stuck with. Mm -hmm. right. And it wasn't, I don't know when they actually changed it, but now you can actually change your character. So I guess it's changing your genus. You yes. can actually change it from whatever worthless uh, thing you did as a mogul or a, now or a that fearless. You've got all your you can money. actually change it to a maniac. Well, and that's probably right. And that probably, I mean, to be smart even for me as a, a long-time player is that it probably would make sense for me to switch at this point. Um, I guess I just never got around to it or wanted to burn the Godfather points on the, on it. You know, some other changes I recall happening in the game since we've been doing it too is, you know, we used to get Godfather points at every level up, and then they switched to every other. That was a big change too. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't notice that. You're <laughs> saying that, no, because I'm still getting... Profile oh, we're gonna... No, so profile you're points, right. You're getting your other? skill points on every level. Oh, okay. You're five, talking about the marketplace. Yeah, about the marketplace. The reward points. Yeah. You used to get one Godfather point every level up. That's right. And then they took that away, and now you get one every other level up. Mm. I never even noticed that I wasn't even getting it anymore because, I don't know. It's so glitchy. You just assumed Gosh. that something was wrong. Yeah. Somebody stole my shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> your secret stash has been That's found right. someone else. It's not over at Spockholm. That's we have our own secret stash over there. <laughs> well, I tell you what, guys, let's take a quick break. We'll do a commercial, and then we'll go ahead and get back here at it, and we'll talk about some more stuff. All righty. Thirteen days of Halloween. So we have a new contest coming up called the 13 Days of Halloween. The 13 Days of Halloween? 13 Days of Halloween, 13 winners. They're each going to win a Zynga gift card. Sweet. Oh, that's awesome. What a trick-or-treat special. A 
Bazinga gift card. That's nice. Stay tuned for information on our website. Stay tuned. And we're back to the informant podcast. We just talked about building up a character. Which character should you have? Should you be uh, worthless and fearless? Should you be smart and be a maniac? And <laughs> it's true. Should you be smart and be a maniac? Or should you go for the mogul and go for the money so that you can actually buy the loot that you need to go to the next job? The next one is basically family life. If you're building a character and you like to fight and you want that uh, camaraderie, you want that protection, then you should seriously look at being a maniac, building your stats. I'm talking about where do you put your skill points when you level up. At the beginning, I would say throw them in energy. Right. That, that is just the smartest thing that you can do. Why? Because that's going to allow you to do more jobs to get bigger. As you start getting bigger, I would say around level 75, maybe even 100, then start dividing that. Don't keep putting everything into energy. Start dividing them up, maybe a 3-2 ratio between your attack and your defense. So you get 5 when you level up, put 3 in attack, 2 in defense. Now, that depends on how you want to fight. If you want to be able to beat people, 3 goes into the attack. If you don't want people to beat you, three goes into the defense, and two goes into the attack. Right. So this is how I feel. If somebody hits me, I want to be able to return the favor. Me too. So what I've always done is I have a higher attack than I will my defense, and I keep it as a a three-to-two ratio, and that's what I did from the very beginning. People will say, well, how do I build up the rest of my character? Well, what you do is as you do these jobs and you close out tiers, you start to get these points. Right. So take those and start spreading those within your um, stamina. Build your stamina out because that allows you to fight. Right. Um, And then put them into health. Do not forget your health. Is that the same thing you do when you're building weapons or uh, cars, or do you put those into your attack, your defense? How do you play that? I put them into the attack and defense. How do you um, do? So it, when you look at, at building uh, your weapons, best thing to do, build a railgun. That gets you your attack up. So it's a good loot item, as mm-hmm. well as it gives you, what is it, six or five? Right, five, I, I think. Remember. It helps you build those. So your weapons depot... Build your railgun. And even once you pass the 501 mark on railguns, you're still getting your points, right, to added to your attack or defense. Correct. Yeah. I had to go and look this up. So level 9 is your railgun. You get 5 attack. The stats of it are 51 attack, 24 defense. And mm-hmm. so it's really, really nice to get that. Right. Well, I'll take, take that a step further, Jester, though. If you get up to the higher level in the weapons depot and you now get those special parts, you can also... Uh, get your stun knuckles and your hack blade, each one giving you a plus six, either in right. defense or attack, too. Correct. Just, I don't so know about y'all, but it's one. so hard to come past the special, special parts. Special parts. I that's, know they're, that's... like, few and far between unless you unless you use Mike Nestor's trick for going out and searching the Facebook walls. Yeah, I don't have the yeah. patience. No, yeah, I, don't, I don't either. Spock Holm will write a bookmarklet to help with that. <laughs> yeah, so, because I, I keep forgetting about these new levels all the way up to 15, because we didn't right. have those. Again, same thing. Long time. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So, so what you have are your rail guns. It's the easiest one to do. Uh, do that until you build up all your special parts, because as, you, as yeah, soon as you, you start don't doing them, right? No, you don't. So the only thing you need to build your railgun are 81 weapons parts and one railgun barrel. Okay. So those are the things that you need. As you start building up all your special parts, you go to your hack blade for your defense. It's 120 weapon parts, 9 special. And then for your stun knuckles, 125 weapon parts, 12 special parts. So if I was a new player, though, what would you say to put on my wish list if I was just getting started? Would you uh, want to go ahead and just railgun barrels? And yeah, pump? don't do railgun. Mm-hmm. Do railgun barrel. Because the railgun is giftable. Just because they gift it to you doesn't mean that you're going to get that plus five. I'm going to digress here for a second. Did you guys see in Italy now in, that, in the port, you know, when you can purchase items? 
there's now items in there that you can purchase too that have increased in attack and stamina and energy and defense just the same cool when, when you start getting you gotta get up to level 15 or so when you start getting into the good ones so there's items to be purchased now in Italy as well that can help build your character as you're moving